Greetings and welcome back to Animal Crossing. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we are in a slightly unfamiliar location because we are on Eon Moon's Island and I am selling the last of my turnips. So today he has a price of 400 bells each and um, poor Pizza Party. Wow. Thank you, Pizza Party, for letting me sell. She had 336 bells this morning uh, as a turnip price. And I made like seven trips. There were several, several trips. Uh, so anyway, we have had an absolutely crazy day. So I thought I would start on um, Eon Moon's Island just to show you a different island. And we're going to check out the shopping here and um, yeah, generally have a great time. So this is the last. You notice I have a ladder. That's because of my inconvenient turnip uh, spot that I have chosen to store them in. I have to change that later. 800,000 bells. Boom. That's nice. Um, I've already checked out uh, the walls and floors here and I did get permission to buy this vanity so I'm gonna buy that. It looks kind of funky. Bathroom sink and it's got all the accoutrements with it. All the toothbrushes, mirror, all that kind of stuff. So let's buy this. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go out and see what else is on the island. I'd love to do the shopping first, so let's go ahead and do that. He's got kicks here as well. I have label on my own, and here is our host with the beautiful jester's cap. Very, very uh, colorful. I love that. Uh, okay, so let's go visit Kix. I've already visited him and he has stuff. Oh my god. So he's got mage's booties. Are these not absolutely fabulous? Red too. And then we have the ballet slippers and then samurai greaves. I think the ones I have are green. So I think I'm going to buy these just so I can have them. And by the way, if you need any of these items, just let me know and I can send them to you through the nook thingy majingy. But I'm going to go ahead and buy probably one of each of these, but I'm not going to let make you wait through all of this uh, buying process. I'm just going to pause the video until I'm done. All right, I have finished buying it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the dialogue in this game. It just takes such a long time to get through all of it. But that's okay, we bought stuff. We have, hello, who are you? This is Vivian. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Here to visit from Skyland, are you? Oh, but where are my manners? I'm Vivian. Pleased to meet you. And you are? Well, Catherine, you have a new friend on this island. Do stop by and say hello when you're here. Ah, <laughs> that's nice. I've never met Vivian before. And who's this? Hello? This is Apple. Hey, you must be a visitor from another island. I'm Apple. You're Catherine. Nice to meet you. Want to be shopping buddies? Yes, I do. I am a shopping buddy. All right, let's check the map here. I want to see where... Oh, there's the tailoring shop on the upper left. That's exciting. And um, yeah, this is quite cool. I'm kind of like spending a lot of time on uh, Eon Moon's Island because <laughs> my island is an absolute mess and we'll get to see that in a second. But I do want to see what the Able Sisters have for us today uh, in terms of shopping. This could be kind of fun and see. Hello, Able Sisters. Hello. Oh my God, we have a bunny hat. What do we got? Do we have enough space? We have enough space. If we have enough money, we have enough. Look at this swaggy thing. Holy fuzzy cats. This is quite cute too. This little uh, sort of apron dress with a pearl necklace. That's nice. That's one thing I haven't been seeing a lot of is jewelry in this game. That skirt. Wow. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to do some shopping here. Yes, we do need the fitting room. I am ready for it. Let's see what we have here. Wow. Old school jacket. Oh, this is great. We have many things. Petal skirts. Those are very pretty. And I have a oh, fancy party dress. Okay, that's with the necklace, I see. And then we have the lace-up dress. Let's try some of these things on. Yeah, there we go. Oversized sweats dress. <laughs> that's very silly. Um, gothic headdress. Bunny hood. We're going to buy some of those. Stash and glasses. Someone gifted that to me yesterday when I was on an island, and that was really cool. Facial mask. Hmm. Hmm, I say. We have frilly socks. Those are quite cute. And I'm going to tell you about my outfit a little bit later. I'm kind of excited about my outfit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy some of these items and take them home. Uh, oh, I, let, we'll just let somebody go home first, and then I'll do my shopping. Okay, okay, Mabel, hold on. And meanwhile, I will pause the recording. Okay, we have kind of shopped till we dropped over here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go around and we'll take a tiny tour of Eon Moon's Island and then we will go back home and uh, see what we come back to. 
All right, so we have some houses here. I think Eon Moon is reorganizing. He's getting ready to completely terraform this. Oh, and he has already started. Look at this very square river going on. I know that he's very interested in min-maxing how things are going around. I only have, do I have a ladder? I do have a ladder. That's the only thing I have. No poles on me. I just wanted to carry the maximum amount of turnips. I was making several trips. Oh, wow, look at this. This beautiful garden he has. This is great. Nice looking fabulous i know he's been using these um these are hay beds and uh, using them for measurement purposes oh okay someone's on their way in i'm just gonna go ahead and pause okay back to the rows and rows of trees here wow so much stuff going on in this island it's quite big i should turn on the map Let's see if we can just do that mini map we'll do always on oh and here we can actually see the whole map from where we are um, let's see, let's stand still. And we can see that uh, Eon Moon has a very, very ordered grid system going on here. Whoa, a ramp. A ramp to nowhere. I like this. This is quite cool. This is like a lookout point. I wonder if that's going to stay or if it's going to go. <laughs> but Eon Moon, very serious about uh, making some, uh, some money with trees and stuff like that. It's uh, kind of cool to see how different people organize their islands and stuff. Oh, wow. Bamboo. Uh, and houses over here many many houses I know that he had laid out a bunch of those hay beds to make sure that every villager had a good location and oh oh wow okay a tiny river nice nice okay <laughs> it's interesting but here we go here is some of the layouts here um, and you can see he's used the custom tiles here uh, before he got the terraforming tools to make sure that uh, we have a nice grid system going on here so and then there's the campsite we saw nice and then a tiny beach and there's vivian and i think that completes our tour of this island and there's eon moon running to the bank wow he has so many turnips to sell today um and it's been a pleasure thank you eon for inviting us to your island to sell things that is very very much appreciated um i know that it was funny because i was thinking like how much what is my threshold for selling turnips and I had a lot. I, I spent about three million in turnips. And, um, okay, let's go ahead and go home. And that was kind of eight and a half loads of turnips, I think. So nine trips. And, um, it was, it was, I was thinking, well, what, what is it worth it for me to actually do this? And by the way, we're, we're witnessing Nintendo online services right now. Oh my God. Oh, I can't even go home. Let's see. Maybe somebody's selling stuff. I don't know. But um, I thought, what is what is it worth it? I thought maybe 200. So at least I double my investment. And that would get me set up for a very long time because I had the 700,000 loan for the current house payment. And then the next one is two and a half million to get that final house upgrade. So um, I could have spent the three million just doing that. But I thought, nah, I'm going to invest in turnips and then suffer with my tiny inventory space in my house. Uh, but now it should go up to 800. And then the final one is 1,600 slots. And this is my island. It is an absolute disaster zone. I feel like I've gotten hit by an item bomb or something. There's so much stuff here. But if you'll notice some new and different things there's also a lot of other beautiful things and i want to tell you the stories of what happened yesterday um if you're following the discord it's been really really exciting and i really want to share that with you so what i'm going to do i think let's see let's land the plane here and then we will go ahead and put some stuff away I don't know if I can actually, I actually think I need to drop everything and then we need to figure out how that's going to work. But I do want to tell you some stories because that's the kind of the most important part of this game. Look at how much stuff I have in my inventory. I've been very naughty and I've been just using the walls of my house to store everything I have. Uh, it's been a bit crazy, <laughs> just slightly. <laughs> all right, let's go here and then let's go ahead and uh, deposit all our money deposit as you can see i have made a very decent amount of money from these transactions i'm going to send uh gifts to both pizza party and eon moon i have an idea of what i want i hope they'll like it um but i don't know if i can make it just yet we'll have to find out let's see okay so we have like a million things still in the inventory let's go talk to tom nook because i want to get that last upgrade for the house here hey tom nook how you doing hey 
All right, what should I do about my home? You know, the other thing I want to do is I want to get some bridges made. Okay, so I want to expand. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Second story, adding a whole new floor. Yes. Loan. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Oh, I was looking at a guide and I thought it was 700,000, then 2.5 million. Apparently, there's more. My goodness. Okay, well, let's go see. We can already pay this off, maybe. Let's see if we have the loan left. I don't know if it's there. Let's look. No, it's not there yet. I guess they'll do the work and then we'll do the loan. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, also, what we have been doing in Discord, and it's it's such a great thing because you can send kind of unlimited gifts through the shopping thingy majingy. We've been looking at the, um, the, oh my gosh, stale cupcakes. Well then, we've been looking at the tunes and figuring out who has what and what we can, we kind of like trade. Like, oh yeah, what do you have? What do you have? Yeah, can you send me one of those? And it's really great because we can all get stuff. Oh, that's nice. An elephant slide and a lantern. I already have that. That was actually one of the first items I could buy. I remember spending a mountain of money on this elephant slide. Oh, that's cute. And then we have um, stale cupcakes. I'm going to go ahead and just buy that. Oh, I have no bells. Ah, <laughs> That's the funny thing, I guess. Um, all right. So let's sign off here. And we're going to just figure out how we're going to make this work. And I'll show you the absolute disaster zone that is my island. So I went shopping on Pizza Party's island. Okay, this is Label. We're going to get to Label in just a second. She's our fashion consultant. Uh, this is all the stuff that has happened in my world here. We have many dumping grounds of things and stuff. And look at this. It's this not beautiful. Uh, yeah. So here is uh, the thing. Oh, we've got a tissue box on another island. So I'm going to quickly just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it all uh, over on the beach. Like the beach doesn't care. The beach is fine with all this stuff. But look, no more turnips. This is so funny. I got to show you a picture too of um, my, <laughs> my adventures up top. Oh my gosh. So we're in our main turnip dumping area and you can see there is absolutely nothing left. Um, but this morning it looked quite different, I have to say, and it looked a little bit like this. And I felt like a Pac-Man munching up all these turnips. It was quite hilarious. Oh my gosh. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm just going to dump all of these things here. I got travel pouches, crossbody bags, we got socks, we got, we got all the things and all the stuff. I'm not going to make you watch this thing, we're going to just pause here. Oh my god, clothing items, the new turnips! You might be thinking, oh my god, KOS, what the heck are you going to do with all those clothing items? Well, I actually have plans for, look at this, fence everywhere, things and stuff everywhere, it's crazy! Um, what are you going to do with all these fashion items? And I have a very specific idea of, uh, of what I want to do with them, actually. It's, uh, it's kind of cool. Okay, so let's get, did I leave some of the stuff here? Net, fishing rod... Um, those shovel, we have tissue box over there. Oh my gosh, don't run through the flowers. Don't run through your own flowers, KOS. Bad, bad. Okay, I now have my inventory sort of sorted here, at least with the tools that I need to do with stuff. So let's talk about Label. She is absolutely great and, um... Well, actually, yeah, yeah, let's talk about Label. Um, so she has asked us, she's visiting here. You can see she's got her travel stuff, her bag, suitcase and everything. And she's going to be here for a very short time. And she today, for me, is looking for a formal outfit. Now, she gave me an example of a formal outfit, which she said, yeah, just change into this. Um, but I happen to know if you get something um, better than what she gave you or more, more formal, maybe, or whatever, uh, she'll give you an extra prize. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I'm highly amused what she gave me because she gave me a sailor style shirt. So let's pick this up and see what this looks like. I don't know if it is a formal sailor style shirt or what, but yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> We're not going to go with that. We're going to change into something a tiny bit different here. Um, oh, I hear a present. Hello, present. Oh, that's an egg present. We don't care about those. Um, so anyway, um, but I, I don't know if this would qualify. I love this outfit, but we're going to try this on a tiny bit later. 
And I'm going to tell you the story of this outfit because it's absolutely great. All right, let's go inside and change. Oh, I love this. This this outfit is very special to me. This is so cool. So, um, yeah. Let's look in our inventory and see what we actually have. Oops, excuse me. No, I, did, I didn't mean to talk to you. Uh, wooden wardrobe. Should I change? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I wish you could have more favorites than just the wand ones. But let's find a formal outfit that would look good. Oh, we have vampire clothes. Hello. Um, I'm looking for a dress. This one. Fashionable royal dress. That sounds amazing. Now, milkmaid's hat is probably not going to do that. Um, so I'm going to qualify. So let's go with a tiara instead. Yeah, there we go. Do we have any fancy shoes? Look at these great shoes that I've picked up over the way. Cleats from Kix. Oh, man, it's so good. Um, we also have a faux fur bag. Eh. Yeah, crossbody doesn't really work with a princess dress. <laughs> but um, let's see, shoes. You know what? We don't really have great shoes. We'll just take the strappy heels because we know heels are a formal kind of a thing. Let's just change into this. Um, there we go. Hooray. Even though we have socks on. I, the socks, I hope the socks don't matter. Do I need a, Let's try hose. Let's see if hose make a difference, actually. I, I don't, I want to get the best thing possible. I have not looked any of this up, by the way. Uh, I don't know what's a perfect outfit or anything like that. So I'm just kind of really experimenting here and seeing what we can, what we can do and maybe get a decent prize from her. That would be amazing. Let's see. Socks. Did I miss them already? Where are the socks? Oh, here we go. We have flowery dot tights. Hmm. Tights, tights, tights. Let's go with tights. Um, they're probably better than socks. I don't know if she's going to look under my skirt or not. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, never mind. I shouldn't talk that way. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's very fine. All the fineness is fine. Yay, let's go. Oops, sorry. I was looking at another screen. Let's see. Let's see if Label likes what I'm wearing. I'm hoping to get that next something from her. Oh, we have a bench in the town square, nice. I see you've changed clothes. Can I take a look at the outfit you came up with? Uh, you know what, not yet. I don't wanna be holding this ladder, hold on. Do I need a parasol maybe? Do you think that's a good idea? Try on a the kind of super nice clothes you'd wear to a fancy restaurant or your cousin's graduation ceremony. Okay, so I've heard that other people have other themes, so um, yeah, today we have formal. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead. Let, let's see. I'm not going to get up here, so let's talk. Oh, good. Let's see it then. Like, ah, hmm. I see. Wonderful. That's it exactly. Your combination of clothing radiates that perfect formal look. There's just so much that I can learn from your sense of style. Thank you. I want to give you something to show you how much I appreciate your help. Have you heard of Taylor's tickets? I know I haven't. You can take a tailor's ticket to the tailor shop and exchange it for an item that costs 3,000 bells or less. Oh, that's nice. Now you can't use it at Timmy and Tommy's shop. Still, I hope you use it to buy something nice for yourself. Thank you. I'll send my gift to you in the mail, so be sure to look for it there. And please take this too. I made it with my own two paws. Aw, that's nice. Yeah, giving people things that you've made is quite nice. A uh, label coat. You see? I hope you like the look. It's the design from my fashion label. Well then! I mean, my label is new, so it's not famous yet. It's called Labelle. <laughs> I used to go by that name when I first set out to be a designer. But these days I'm using my real name, Label, while Labelle lives on in my mm, fashion label. Oh, I hope that's not too confusing. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you for being so very helpful. Yay! Oh, we got a thing! All right, let's look at this label coat. Oh, that is gorgeous. Hello. That's fancy. I like it. I like it very much indeed. That looks great. Okay, I like this label coat. This is good. This is very, very good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change again. And um, 
we, we have to wear the other outfit. <gasps> no, 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 give me that balloon. No. Oh, I messed up my own plans there. Shoot. <laughs> I'm supposed to get the balloons before they fly over. Let's see. Is it there? I don't think it's going to be there because I think anytime you go in a house, it kind of resets everything. Please, please come back, balloon. Are you here? No. Oh, the sadness is real. Ah, well, it's fine. We got a label coat. We're very happy with this. Yeah. Yeah, the person... I, I did see one thing on the internet about, and they got some kind of a hat from her, uh, but they didn't have a picture of it. So um, I'm excited I got the coat. I'm hoping that that was good. And I hope I get something different next time because I'd love to have, like, the whole set of her stuff. Now, we are going to get changed into a cool outfit here, which was really, really has a nice story to it. And I love this outfit because of the story. Where are you, outfit? Hello. There you are. So we have this, which is a random thing. It's not, well, not quite random. I was very naughty with this. Where's the hat? Hello, hat. Hey. Yay. And then we had blue socks. So yesterday, <laughs> we had a thing um, where, well, I don't know. It's, it's also uh, in addition to yesterday. Um... Someone in our Discord who is from Holland has been asking for these shoes. Can we have a good expression that's happy? There we go. Has been looking for proper wooden clogs to go with his uh, traditional Dutch outfits, which they have in the game. It's so great. So I was visiting somebody's island and went up to Kicks, and oh my God, they had these shoes. So I knew I had to get two pairs. So I walked over. I didn't have this hat. So let's, let's just like simulate the whole experience here. I was wearing a little uh, tulip in my hair and hoping that he would notice my shoes. And sure enough, soon as I was coming off the plane, I didn't even take two steps off the plane and already in Discord, he was like, oh my God, you have the shoes. So it's so cool. I visited his island and I, um, I gave him the shoes and he gave me this lovely milkmaid hat, which I absolutely adore. And um, I'm still looking, they have a, a really cute um, traditional Dutch dress. Uh, and I'm looking for that, but this will do for now. This milkmaid's dress, I love how like all the little ruffles ruffle and, and wiggle and stuff. It's so cute. So anyway, it was an absolutely a lovely time. And um, yeah, we had such a great time sharing that. And I think that's what's, I don't know, it makes it really, it makes this game very cool when you can really connect with people and like you can find something that they're looking for and have happiness and joy and it's really nice. So anyway, that's what the story of this dress is and I'm so excited about it. Uh, thank you very much Hollandians for the hat and thank you for the for the for the wonderful experience. Um, so anyway, let's get back to to our gardens here. Uh, we have, I've put those blossom lanterns around the place. Uh, we probably need to get rid of some of these trees. Uh, we could just shake them out if we want to keep the trees. Maybe we'll just do that. Let's just keep the trees for now. I haven't done any of my morning maintenance because first thing, first order of business is get those darn turnips sold. And I have spent quite a lot of time doing that this morning. Um, huge, huge thank you again to uh, Eon Moon and Pizza Party. Very, very thankful for letting me sell at your place. Ignore the mess, please. But uh, other than that mess, look at the entrance. I'm really liking how this is looking. It's really good. I might change that that toolbox. This might not be the best place for this. And just replace, you know what, let's just do that. Let's replace that with a flower uh, instead. What, what can go there? Let's see. Maybe, let's see, mums? Oh, there's a mum over here. How did that mum get over there? That's naughty. Oh, oh, hello. There we go. Yay. Yay, butterfly. Hooray. Okay. So I'm not sure how that mum got there, but I think it wants to belong over here. So let's just dig that up real quick. Gardening with KOS. Yay. Uh, all right. So... And another story I have to tell you is, oh, this is great. Look at this. Is this not beautiful or what? Oh, that is so nice. I like it. The white provides kind of a nice contrast to the red fence. Uh, and then we have the colorful flowers welcoming people to Holy Fuzzy Cast Land. This is great. This is really great. I'm so happy with this. This is also looking really nice. This museum. I'm kind of liking it. 
Um, obviously, we don't have a full symmetry because I did want this path here. I think it looks great. And we want to have like places people can enjoy and walk around and, and look at things. We have this fossil here. I love the dragonfly. I'm not going to fill in these. Oh, hello. Hi, pattern. I don't need you. Goodbye. <laughs> um, I want to have that grass there to, so we don't have just like too many flowers everywhere. As if there could be too many flowers. You know what I mean? So yeah looking really good i want to see what the final effect is once these lilies and the roses bloom and here i planted some white lilies which i'm hoping they'll um they'll bloom soon enough uh what else has changed on the island i have so many items if you want to come to my land of sky here come oh and these i just dropped in the middle of nowhere let's see let's look at the mums yeah no no real hybrids here that's unfortunate Oh, well, uh, I have a lot of stuff. Just come and take something. I, I had this sign saying trade, but I'm going to just say take. <laughs> so that be, you can just take whatever you want. Don't even have to trade. No, we don't care about trading. Um, okay, so let's over here. I planted these guys. Hopefully they will hybrid. There's a small chance that they will every day. So I'm um, still looking out for that. Let's see, what else is new? Oh yes, I planted roses over here. And I think that's kind of a nice transition into these windflowers. And then we go orange windflowers. I might plant some on the edges of the cliffs as well. Because I kind of like how that looks with these cosmos at the top here. Oh, hello. What's this? Um, let's see. Let's look at these. Err. Okay, DIY. A pear bed. I think I already know this one. Okay, so I have a pear bed to trade if you want to trade recipes. I'm still looking for some of the uh, uh, cherry ones, uh, for sure. So, um, here we go. Look at look at this. Oh my god, the grill is good. We increased our tarantula count by one last night, which was fantastic. By the way, I am just trying to go a little bit fast along the beach. Normally, I would pick everything up. Um, but I don't want to run out of inventory space. <laughs> I'm now having like inventory anxiety. It's terrible. So here we have this cult thing and then the tarantula wall. There's our new tarantula one down there. And um, I was hoping that we would have more trees blooming and going on. That's okay. I'm going to start digging some of these fossils so I don't miss them. Because that's a nice part of like daily life in, in this land of ours. Look over here. We'll go up there in a second. I should get this uh, rock too. I need to make, um, you know, stops for all the rocks. I know I talked about that in a previous video, but I still haven't found what I like. Though, I did see one thing. It never occurred to me to customize some of those pots. Now, there's a clay pot that you can make. I think it's part of the standard recipes you can buy in the store. And it allows customization. And I think some of them look really... Uh, better than the ones I had. Not better, but like they blend into the landscape more. I was kind of interested in having more of a subtle thing. I know some people use the wooden peg fencing. I looked at that, but it didn't really appeal to me. Okay, nothing over here for hybrids. Sad times. No. Sad times, she says, as she got 10 million in the bank from Tulip Land. Or no, from, uh, what do you call it? Turnip Land. That's what it is. Oh, nice. We have a, um, we have a pink cosmos here. And one of the things I want to start making is I want to make flower beds that are just plain flowers. You see how all the white lilies here? I picked them yesterday because um, we had a cool thing. Well, an interesting thing happen. And I'll, I'll tell you more about that when I get there. But I want to have flowers that I can pick for crafting stuff because there are some really, really beautiful flowers. <laughs> that are really beautiful recipes that you can make like my um um my lily uh, record player which i think is the most beautiful item that i've seen so far in the game or one of the most beautiful items it is just so lovely okay let's see we got these pink tulips let's see if we dig that one up please there we go yay i'm gonna fill this hole because again i don't want to pick the blooms i don't want to accidentally pick them and i don't want to use the shovel uses so what i can do is just log out of the game and log back in and all the holes are filled it's very handy there is one red tulip there we got some oh we got some yellow no we don't want yellow go away <laughs> got another yellow over there that's nice and here we have some very interesting things Someone gave me a recipe for a raccoon statue, and I thought it was going to be cute, but it ends up being this. It's interesting, yes. 
So yeah, we have those. Those are basically just for hello five star rating. Can we have you? Um, but yeah, I'm working on the five star rating. That is probably gonna happen pretty soon. I have so many things. <gasps> no, I missed the orchid mantis. It fell down. No, well, jumped down. It was like fleeing in terror from the KOS. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's get this rock going on here. Haven't got found the money rock today yet. And I used up all of my gold. Oh, man. Did, was that on yesterday? I can't remember if I told you about that yesterday. I feel like after I make an episode, so many things happen in the game that it's just really hard to keep track of what I said in the video and not. Um, but yeah, yesterday I had um, a recipe for bars of gold that was selling... And for one bar of gold, it was 60,000 bells. And I'm like, wow, that's great. So each bar of gold took uh, three gold nuggets. And so I made quite a lot of money. I made around 300,000 or something yesterday. And I was actually really looking forward to that because I thought, well, you know, my loan is 700,000. If I can just get this... Um, get a little bit more stuff, gather some insects, farm a tiny bit here, then we can maybe get this in case turnip prices, I have to wait a week to get those going. But anyway, um, okay, so we got that. That's nice. Okay, what do we got down here? We need to check this area here. We Oh, we have orange and pink. Oh, cool. We have another spot as well, another digging spot. There we go. That's nice. No, that was the wrong spot. Hello, girly. Please. Correct spot, please. Thank you. All right, let's go and get this one. Oh, we have some cherries. This is good because I owe some people some furniture. That's another nice thing. We were comparing furniture yesterday, like the patterns that you get. Um, let me just show you. The DIY recipes and the thingy, majingy, bajingy. Where is it? Let's see. I have, yeah, I've got, so I've got the cherry speakers and cherry lamp and I have a pear bed and an extra pear bed. But we were comparing all of these recipes yesterday and we were like, hey, can I have this? Can I have that? And we were just trading furniture because, and I'll show you what I got. Uh, it's outside at the moment because I don't have enough space inside, but we're going to make a room perhaps, or maybe it's going to be outside. I went to the most glorious island yesterday. It's so, so pretty. <gasps> oh, what did we get? What is this? Oh, I think it's a hybrid red. Oh, we got lucky. Boom. Okay, so we got that hybrid red, which is ready to breed with other other flowers too. Yay, this is so good. Okay, let me dig this up. This is a special... Oh, you know what? I'm going to leave it there. I haven't decided where I'm going to put that yet, those hybrid reds. And hybrid reds need to breed together. So that's that's a thing. Uh, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. And I think, I think, what, was it Lynn's Island? I can't remember. Please forgive me if I don't remember whose island I went to because my brain just has so many things going on in it. But she had a glorious, super beautiful cart. This flower cart here. And I think it is just one of my favorite items in the game. It's so, so pretty. And I just love it. So I might find a different place to put it because I feel like it's too much in line with these flowers here. Uh, it needs to be offset, but it's kind of cool when you're walking this way and you just like walk and it's like, oh, what is that? You go along the path and it's kind of like disappearing, reappearing and you end up and it's like, oh, that's so pretty. You know, you have to like think about how people travel and where they go and what they can see. And it's kind of a nice, like, just, I don't know, cool thing to think about. But anyway, after that... Um, someone else comes into Discord and says, Oh my gosh, does anyone have a flower cart? Or do they have uh, lilies? Or, or, I don't know, I don't remember what it was. No, roses and something else, and hyacinth, I believe. And I was like, oh, I don't want to give away my flower cart. It's so beautiful. But, you know what? It was given to me for free, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to raid my garden. And so that's why some of the flower petals have been picked. Because I thought, you know what? I just got to give those flowers. Because they were trying to get um, one of the... Um, oh, oh, I hear something. They were trying to get one of the villagers to move in that they really wanted. So, and they demanded a flower cart. And I'm like, oh, that would be nice to just um, share with people as people have shared with me. So anyway, thank you to everyone in Discord for being just awesome people. Uh, anyway, so let's see. Well, this 
rock is giving us not exciting things, but that's okay. Um, one thing I looked up, and, and that's the reason I sold my gold. I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, save your gold for golden tools. Um, I was trying to look up everywhere I could. There is no data at all uh, on the internet for uses of tools for, for um, golden tools. I looked it up. People have guides for, oh yes, it's this many hits uh, with an axe, this many waterings with a watering can. And, you know, if you miss, it's less, uh, less wear. That was interesting. Is this, like, undiggable? <laughs> what the heck? That was so weird. I must have hit the birdhouse. <laughs> it was strange. Um, but anyway, I could not find anywhere that had the statistics. But a few people said, hey, I made a golden watering can. And guess what? It didn't last me but a day. So I'm thinking, eh. I probably would rather sell my gold crafted and at a, as a hot item rather than, um, cause I mean, you know, regular watering cans are just so cheap to make and it's fine. And you also get an achievement for breaking X amount of tools. So that's, that's okay too. So anyway, I'm, I probably won't use any of the, uh, the golden tools unless we get to, I don't know, an unbreakable version. Maybe they'll add diamond tools or something like that. I have no idea. But um, that would be a nice thing to have unbreakable tools. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, one place they might be useful, and this was kind of an interesting thing to me. Apparently you can force tarantulas to spawn on islands, and I almost did that. I think it was Hollandians who gave me the tip on that one. Uh, because um, they don't, if you dig up, you have to chop down all the trees, dig up the stumps, and, um, and destroy rocks if you can as well so that you can uh, get rid of the rocks so that bugs don't spawn on rocks. And then the only thing left that can spawn is a tarantula after 7 p.m. So yeah, that's a thing. And I got one tarantula and then I ran out of ax power. I had only taken one ax with me and there was no wood to craft more uh, because <laughs> my, my palm trees were all tapped out and then of course the bamboo. So a bit of an unlucky thing, but it is definitely possible. So if you're looking for a tarantula island, there you go. All right, so let's see Blathers here and adjust these fossils. Hello. I'm sorry to wake you in the middle of your sleep. Apologies. It's so funny because we often go here in the daytime to see Blathers and um, and he's asleep. And it's like, why the heck is he asleep? Well, he's an owl. Of course he's asleep. He's nocturnal. So, um, but at night he's actually awake. So poor thing, we keep waking him up. All right, they found something, yay. Of course I'll donate what I found. I also, I think it was yesterday, I caught my first gigantic atlas moth. Those are really fascinating creatures. It actually made me look it up on Wikipedia after something Blathers said um, that they don't have mouths. And I'm like, what the heck? So apparently they don't actually have fully formed mouth parts. The real, the real animal. Uh, sure, Blathers. Um, but, but because they just mate and then they die, like, after two weeks. It's like, wow, okay. But the caterpillars can eat. So, wonderful. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ah, yes. The Pleosaurus is a classic uh, of the ancient reptile world. That long, graceful neck, the wee little head, and the plump, turtle-like body make for a striking silhouette. I remember this one. This is like... Um, yeah. Incidentally, despite this Saurus name, it wasn't actually a dinosaur. Common error. Oh, what? There was surely a majestic sight swimming in those ancient seas like a long-necked rubber ducky. Yes. <laughs> it's very, like, you know, Nessie kind of thing here. Uh, the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, gladly accept a donation. Hooray! Yay! So, yeah, I love long-necked dinosaurs like the Brontosaurus, which was denied for many years, but now it's back. Um, Brachiosaurus and, um, and then, the, of course, the Pleosaurus is the water version, you know, having the flippers. I wonder if we have any more of that Pleosaurus. Let's just check. I'm really curious about this. Um, if you notice, I am trying to collect parts of the long-necked dinosaur they have. In, um, it's by the water behind the town square. So that's what I'm looking for. Need a, I think we need just the body and the head. Oh, here it is. Here's the Pleosaurus right here. We just need the back part. Look at this. This is great. So this is the Ophthalmosaurus, and here it is, the Pleosaurus. Look at that neck, man. I kind of wonder what led to the evolution of, like, these animals with very long necks. Oh, and here's something big. 
stand on the blue square here. Oh, there we are. Here it is. That's our Brachiosaurus or something. What is it? Diplodocus. Sorry. This is what it is. Yes, Diplodocus. Okay. Um, so I need parts. I obviously need parts for the museum and for outside. But I can think of nothing more cool than to have like a giant dinosaur <laughs> in my in my world here. We'll make a space for it. We might have to cut down some of our orchards because the orchards are great. And I think they're great for sharing fruit with people. Um, but they're not that great for making money. We'll leave Blathers there to sleep. Poor thing. Aw. Sweet little guy. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you where I have that set up. But do we have any um, Diplodocus stuff? Spino torso, amber, iguanodon skull. No, an amber might be a nice thing to have in the garden here. Let's see. What if we put one here? Place item. It kind of goes with the yellow. I kind of want to have like this little display like this a bit. Um, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it goes there. I don't know. Let's we might find another place to put it The amber is really pretty and I'm thinking you know what we could do is we could put it on a stump Oh, Let's do that. Let's do that. What do we have? Oh my god. We have a billion things in the inventory. Oh too many things It actually takes quite a lot of time to organize all this stuff d uh, during the day. It's just like yo many things help help Yelp we're being repressed. No Repressed, oppressed, suppressed. Plant. Plant the bulbs. Plant the thingy majingies. We'll just walk slow. We'll just walk really slowly through here. <laughs> okay, and then we have red rose buds. Where did I get those from? Oh geez. I wonder if they're the hybrid ones or not. I don't know. No, I don't think I dug up the hybrid one. But I think that's what I ended up doing with these roses here is just you know, planting them. We can have one maybe back here. Yeah, right there. And then I think I like this shape here that it leads up to the laundry thing. So I think I'm going to leave that that way and not plant that extra one. Oh, here's some pink. Hello. Yay, pink flowers. All right, so let's put those here. Really? <laughs> oh, no. It's the end of the... And people are like, no, no, that's why, KOS. That's why you go and get those things. Yes. All right, plant these guys walk here plant there we go um did we tap this rock yet i can't remember let's see see these are so handy instead of having to dig it every time love having these like these blocks here but i think what we'll do let's find that stump that we can place this amber on and then go ahead and do that but with that money in the bank i'm just like coconuts Eh, who cares? The only time I'll harvest a coconut is if we actually need it. Alright, let's go. Run, run, run. Oh, nope, nope. Okay. Um. Okay, I don't want to run over those lilies. Let me kill them. It's fine. Oh, we should check. We should check the store and see what they have. Also need to check afternoon turnip prices because maybe I can return the favor and help people out. Um, if, if my turnip prices are high. Uh, let's see what else we have. Spino Tour, so I can sell some of these things. I think. Let's see what's in the egg bottle here. Thanks. You know, I heard it. I have, I have that. Thank you. I have it. I has that. Yeah. And I think we're gonna have to wait with mail call until tomorrow <laughs> because we have too many items. It's like no help, help, help. Too many things. Okay. No, okay, sorry. Sorry. We may have to just sell all the things. No room for any more things. The sadness is really real. Oh, there's our tool cart. I actually like that tool cart. I have one of those IRL. They're quite cool. Or maybe two of them. I don't know. I have lots of tools. Um, here we go. Owing to my former profession. Um, right. Let's see. Go ahead and get... Oh, and by the way, I had two money trees because... I missed a day on the growing part of it and it was like it, it wasn't growing I put it too close to something else so we were looking for hmm let's find out what kind of wood we need that I forgot to look at the wood where shall we look here so we have a rock we can put it on top of a rock that might be evocative because you know fossils are excavated usually from rock 
Um, or we could go a bit gentler and say like a stump, a log stool. This might be quite nice. Actually, this might work. <laughs> that, you know, those, uh, yeah. You, why am I not even looking? I was looking at like fancy stuff to put near my rocks, but I think that might work even better. Let's do hardwood and let's get some rocks. If you look at my inventory, I actually crafted so many things yesterday to get rid of stuff. And it's just mountains and mountains of items that I can just use. I will be really happy when Bunny Day is over. I'll tell you that much. All right, let's craft stuff. What I've been doing with Bunny Day stuff is just crafting the things that take the most eggs. So I get you know, the fastest crafts. Um, okay, let's make like three... We can vary these things around. And then keep crafting. Okay, let's make three of each. Okay, here we go. Yay! I also forgot to look at my nook things. Do I have anything useful here? No. No! <laughs> no! I've done nothing today, apparently. All those things at the top. Okay, let's just take a quick picture here. Let's just, okay, so what I do is like, if I wanna take a crappy picture, I just like put my, um, just don't face the camera so that I know that I can quickly delete that from my uh, library. That's a bit of a maintenance thing that I'm not very fond of, but it is worth getting the Nook Miles for it. Okay, do we have a crafting one, please? No, of course not. All right, it's fine, it's fine. I thought we could get one. It'll be fine. All right, let's go and craft these um, stone things. Le crafting. Because those actually might look okay out in the wilderness. Like in town, I think having the... Wait, did I miss it already? I missed it already. Um, I also have any kind... If you see any fences or things that you need crafted, just say. Because I'm very happy to craft those for people. Uh, you can come over, bring mats, and then just craft them. And then I'll give it back to you. Because we all get, like, different recipes and stuff. And also, if there's some, like, items that you need, like, um, fencing recipes, uh, I can look for those in my Nook store. Okay, let's make four of these, maybe? So I think these might look okay. I think so. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. And if nothing else, we can always sell them uh, to the Nook Brothers. They're quite happy to take these items off my hands. Go, boom, hooray. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, 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 I'm done. I'm, I'm really done. Thank you, thank you. Yay, okay. Get out of here. Okay, now then, let's go, first of all, and place this piece of amber. Oh, hello. How you doing? Hey, you want more reactions? You got it. Check this out. I like that. Use that if you ever see me get beat at arm wrestling, because of course you'd be shocked if that happened. Right. Yay! I do like... Oh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god. So what do we have now? I really like... What's Bashful looking like? Oh, okay. I don't want that. I want... Cold Chill is kind of funny. Okay. Uh, I like Mistaken. Clunk. Okay, let's look at that again, because that one is so good. <laughs> I love that star falling at her head. It's hilarious to me. And Sorrow was very cute. Very evocative. I like that better than the other cry one. Surprise is not too bad. Um, we have greetings. I don't like greetings. I think it should be more. Delight. We love the clapping. And then, of course, the joy is the universal thing that everybody uses for happiness in this game. I really do like that one. So let's get rid of bashfulness for now. And let's see what we can we can place the new thing there. Distress, sneezing I have. Aggravation, sorrow. Okay, let's get shocked. Woo! I'm not crazy about the piano chord, but that's okay. Let's see, do we do we this? Hello? Hello? Hello, what do you look like, balloon? No. Oh, but there's one in the distance. I saw one come around. Hooray! Yes. All right, please, cherry recipe, please. Hello. What do we got here? No, wait, no, no, no. I was trying to get the pear bed again. <laughs> oh, no. Bells, thanks. I'm not really great. I, You know, I'm really frustrated with these 
with the presence. I have shot down so many things that give me a thousand bells, five thousand bells, ten thousand bells, but or five clay, five iron nuggets, and I'm like, give me the Sakura cherry, please help. All right, so I can maybe I could put this here. We could put this right here. Let's try the the wooden thing, the log stool first, and then place the ember on top of it. Where is it? Here? No. Here? No. It's right over there. Place. Hmm. I don't know. I don't actually like that. Nope. Nope. That won't do. Nope. 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 Sorry. Let's try the stone instead. Ah, stone will also go with this over here. Okay, I like that idea. Amber, place. Oh, yes, and the amber, you can actually see it better. So I think what I need to do is fill this area with flowers as well. I'm not sure if I should have a way for people to access this. Oops, no, 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 stop, stop, stop that. A way for people to access this? Like, should I put it near the path? Maybe? Um, if I do it one closer, then we can get flowers behind it. Because half tiles don't work really well. This would kind of force people to kind of go along the path here. Because these things push you to the sides here. I really am loving this area. I love the picnic basket. I think I saw somebody use custom tiles to make a picnic blanket. I'm going to have to inquire about that. Um, it wasn't an actual blanket, but it was uh, custom tiles, which I think was cool. Obviously, I need to finish out um, the pink tulips there, but we are really progressing quite well. Oh, we have pink tulips. Hooray! Let's go and plant these. This is great. Let's do this while we're here. Plant. Plant. Yay! Oh, this is coming along very nicely. Oh, this is so good. I am so happy with this area. So I think this is going to be a project for tomorrow, Catherine. Figuring out what we want to do with flowers here. What colors we want to organize. Do we want to have something different, something similar? We have many flowers in other places uh, that we can move or seeds. So it's going to be great. But I am so happy with the way this is turning out. Um, I want to just say thank you, thank you to everyone. Uh, who's been been in discord been chatting been trading been having fun all the good stuff i really appreciate you and i hope you have a great rest of your day or evening so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time